Hi guys, it's Anne. Um, in my video yesterday that I did that I used alcohol, I said I swore I was never ever going to use alcohol in a painting again because I just I had disastrous results. Um, but I lied. I'm going to try it again. Um, this is just one of the cheaper canvases from Michaels, so I figured it's a good one to practice on versus yesterday's, which was a really nice canvas to practice on. Um, I'm going to put some gloves on. You will hear lots of clumping around upstairs. My, <laughs> there it is. My daughter got home and is digging around the kitchen for something to eat. So good luck to her. I haven't gone to the grocery in a while, but boy, we got new paint, so you know. I thought you could eat that. All right, so what I am doing, what I decided to do is, yeah, I can open it. I've got, it's 70%, and I'm going to do it like this. I don't know what will happen. I'm assuming the paint's going to spread out watercolor-like, but I really don't know, which is why I'm doing this. Oh, God. Phew. Smells like a freaking hospital in here. Gross. I hate the smell. Ooh. Or I need vermouth and an olive to make it better, but this is not good. Um, so I've got my white mixed up. Oh, my God. It's overwhelming. Um, Dutch Boy, DuraClean, Satin. And... I've mixed it, paint up to here, Floetrol, water. So about 50, 25, 25. And then just stirred, stirred, stirred. I like it, it's about like that. Ah, oh, there's stuff everywhere. Um, and so in my flip cup, I'm going to spray some WD-40 silicone in there. And I've got, it is, um, mine fart, uh, Liquitex Basics. One of their purples of some type. I'm not quite sure. You know, an actual, well, no, I'm not going to do that. So see, the other day I had, see how like I got a spill there? I had a drop and then when I poured the white and it popped up and I, so maybe my next one might be where I put drops of it and then pour white and see if it, what happens. I'm all about experimenting. I only have one more show of the season and I may or may not do a school um, arts and craft show. It's homemade and it's high, it's a high quality show. It's, um, it's, I don't, it's good quality stuff. It's not, um, I don't, I'm trying not to insult other craft shows, but it is of a different caliber. Um, but I'm trying to decide if I want to do that or not. So in the meantime, I'm experimenting and this is Artist Loft Metallic something. Seriously, my brain is like non-functioning at the moment. Um, then I've got orange, which you know I love. I love my orange and my yellows in my paintings. You know, I got a little bit of yellow sitting next to me. Let me put a little bit of yellow in there. And I'll put some more of this purple. Ah, there's a splotch. Maybe we'll see what'll happen. And a little bit. Now we're gonna flip. Actually, I'm gonna flip right on top of that, so. 
And I should probably remove this. You are kidding me. Oh, it's stuck under. Ah, no. There's a hair. There's a stinking hair. Oh, and everything's oozing out. I can't control any of this. Oh no, oh no. Okay. I'm, as you can tell, I'm, <laughs> crap. I'm really professional about my paintings, or about my videos. So, hopefully you guys enjoy that. It looks like a peacock. Can you see that? I don't even know if this is where. Looks like peacock. Okay, so. Now let's pour some white down. I'm just gonna use the rest of this. Which is probably way too much. All right, can you guys see this? What's happening? I'm going to punch a hole. Top. And I'm going to zoom in on this because it's kind of neat what's going on. Ah, where'd you go? No, it's not moving as much. It's pretty cool. Let's see, I'm going to move you a little. just don't know how close is too close. So I'm going to do a little bit of a flip and drag, but it's kind of wanting to um, float, which is fine. Flip and drag this puppy. Let that fill in a little bit. Oh, too much, too much. Ah, get rid, get rid, get rid. No, 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 no. Oh, and of course I was stupid and used all the rest of them. Oh, I do have a little bit of mixed up white. There we go. All right. So we got some cool cells going on. Lots of cool things. I'll zoom in again. The color just, uh, I don't know. You guys aren't. There we go. Those are some neat cells. Just got some new light bulbs, the bright whites that I need to put in down here. Because these are kind of yellowy. Alrighty. Now let's, let's make magic happen. So, hmm. so I could ask you guys questions and then you could answer them in the comments. What is your favorite pouring technique or are you just learning and watching videos to um, figure out techniques first? I, you know, I love the hammer technique, and but that one is so messy. Just sometimes, just the way I do it, because I'll use a mallet sometimes, and I just smash the crap out of that canvas. Um, so, I mean, I've really got, that's why I haven't done it lately. I haven't made many hammer videos or anything lately. Um... Honestly, I just haven't haven't felt like dealing with the um, 
mess. So I would say flip and drag next. I have not done, I should do, all of my pores have had negative space for the last months, few months. Um, I should just do a good old fashioned straight up flip cut. And um, see, you know, it's been so long. So there's lots of cool parts of this painting. I want to leave those purple. I like that. It looks like four to three different paintings. It looks like this is something, and that's something, and then that. But, oh, I need, but I'm wondering with that alcohol, the coating of alcohol on the canvas, what will happen in the long term, because I can see it's floating. Now I'm going to do, I'm just going to, look at that, so you can see all those um, cells, just kind of. It's just like it activates it. And I'm using it to break up these parts. I need some white on it though. There we go. So I'm using the hammer dip and smash, but I'm taking white from the painting. Look at the pretty cells it does on the on the end of the mallet. It's beautiful. I could make mallet art. I could frame the mallets. Be beautiful. Just lovely. So I don't like this. I'm gonna get rid of it. And you can see where I was dipping here because there's color. I was not as that part, I, that part didn't occur to me that I was repeatedly dipping with paint on the end of the mallet that that part wouldn't stay white. That never crossed my mind. It's funny how uh, sometimes things that are right in front of your face just oblivious to. Which, yeah, it's all right. It's all good. I might, I might tilt it. I've got some bald spots over here. Kind of afraid to tilt it. Tilt it real gently. What if it starts going? Hmm. All right. <laughs> you probably don't even want to know what I'm doing now. All right, so I am, I needed more white paint, and there was plentitude of paint right there, and it's okay if that's not perfectly white, and I'm going to now use what I just scraped up from there to fill in this corner, and this corner. Because now I have little ghost paints right there. But it worked because that was, you could tell there was plenty of paint right there. I can just scoop some out of here. I like it. I like it. I don't know what the alcohol will do. I'm going to torch it. I like 
like it. Hopefully it doesn't change too much. But I will update you on that one. Zoom in a little. And it really is those colors. It kind of turned like a moss, mossy color. So thank you again for watching. And please subscribe. And I'll see you later.